let's do a little bit of picking on a G chord like this. You can take it to C. Back to G. A D. And a C. The G. <laughs> and a D. So I was picking a pattern that um, is like a finger picking pattern. Hmm. If you're playing a song, you're strumming, and you decide you want to switch over to the picking sound, you might not go to finger picking, so you do it with a pick. pain in the neck to keep it really consistent. I was picking the bass note of a G chord, third string, second string, third string, first string, third, second, third. Now I'm trying to pay attention to my the the uh, uh, orientation of the pick. Uh, if you're picking down up down up, down up 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 down up. One and two and three and four and the nice thing about that. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you're ready for a downstroke at the end of it because you end up the second to last note, or the, the last note is an upstroke. So you're ready for your downstroke when you start over. But I don't always like to do that. I mean, I like to kind of just, I'm going to try just to do my own thing without thinking about it. I'm just going to go. All downstrokes. Yikes. <laughs> it's not that easy, but uh, when I'm when I'm doing that, I'm not like. I mean, I'm trying to be precise, but if it changes a little bit and I hit a different string. Or miss a string, just keep going, and uh, you know it's not like. Basically, you're just kind of making a jingly, tinkly sound versus a scrubby, strummy sound. And if it is a little bit varied, I think that's okay. But that is a cool little detail, you know. After you've been strumming, 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 you're like, can I do that other thing? Well, yeah, I think you can. <laughs> Uh, and it can fit anywhere, you know. Uh, like I was did that film clip for uh, the lesson on Night Moves, which was kind of a strummy song. But there is the piano in there. And, uh, you know, you can go...
Oops. So you can kind of fit, you know, mix mix some picking and patterns and chord shapes and uh, you know you sort of that's just sort of like branching out if you had a, somebody already playing the chords and you could you could sync up and strum in time together the same pattern would sound really cool or you can break out and start making some other uh, you know get creative with it to vary the sound so one is strumming one is picking and if you stumble it's really not going to kill the song even though of course we're trying to bowl a perfect game every time uh how often do you how often do you hit a hole in one when you golf you know it's like be nice if you every stroke was a hole in one but are you going to quit golf because you can't hit a hole in one every time no you're just going to keep playing because it's fun to play. So if you make a mistake and don't play a perfect pattern, that's the way humans are. So it's okay. But yeah, experiment with just like a da 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 eighth notes, one and two and three and four and it really could be any string, any pattern you come up with is probably gonna sound pretty good. Mess around with it. Okay, I'm gonna go start recording some original rock and roll in my basement. I've got a new album I'm working on, and if you're interested, send me an email to hooverguitar at yahoo.com. I'll send you a copy of where I'm at on this new album. And, uh, you know, you can, I'll probably keep, I'm going to keep working on it, changing some things, so you'll get a little, uh, get kind of an update of where I'm at with my, uh, with my album. I've been working on it for many years, but I'm getting to see some light at the end of the tunnel. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks.